It's time for cruise updates today, the latest in cruise news and updates from across the cruise industry. I'm Wade Heath, and make sure you're subscribed so you never miss a thing. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are delving into concerning reports of norovirus outbreaks aboard two U.S. cruise ships prompting attention and action. Passengers aboard Princess Cruises Sapphire Princess and Royal Caribbean's Radiance of the Seas found themselves in distress as cases of norovirus surfaced during their voyages. On the Radiance of the Seas, approximately 67 out of nearly 2,000 passengers, along with two crew members, reported falling ill during their journey from Tampa to Los Angeles between April 8th and the 22nd. Meanwhile, on the Sapphire Princess, around 94 passengers out of over 2,500, along with 20 crew members, experienced similar symptoms during a voyage from Los Angeles into the South Pacific, which began on April 5th and is set to conclude May the 7th. Norovirus, often dubbed the stomach flu, is known for its highly contagious nature, causing symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea. The CDC underscores the importance of hydration for those affected, as dehydration poses a significant risk. The CDC's Vessel Sanitation Program diligently monitors and documents cases of illness aboard cruise ships, aiming to coordinate responses effectively in times of crisis. As investigations continue into these outbreaks, the priority remains ensuring the well-being of passengers and crew, emphasizing the importance of prevention and response strategies to safeguard against the spread of infectious diseases at sea. Royal Caribbean news continues with this. Imagine the excitement of setting sail on an Alaskan adventure with Royal, only to find yourself facing an unexpected twist. For passengers aboard the Radiance of the Seas, this dream voyage turned into a voyage to nowhere. Over the weekend, propulsion issues threw a wrench into the plans, prompting the cruise line to cancel the week-long itinerary after guests had already boarded. Originally slated to depart from Vancouver on Friday, the ship encountered technical difficulties with its propulsion system, forcing a series of adjustments. Days prior to boarding, guests received word of the hiccup through emails shared with USA Today. The cruise line assured passengers that despite the setback, boarding would proceed as planned, albeit with a delay, to allow for additional repairs. However, as fate would have it, the terminal closed Friday evening due to U.S. Customs and Border Protection rules, trapping passengers on board until the ship reached its next destination at Icy Strait Point. Royal Caribbean didn't leave its guests high and dry amid the disappointment, though. In an effort to make amends, they offered onboard credit equivalent to two days of the fare, along with a matching future cruise credit. Complimentary drinks and other compensations sweetened the deal, and demonstrating the cruise line's commitment to guest satisfaction, they did acknowledge the frustration caused by the unforeseen disruptions. Royal Caribbean extended heartfelt apologies to its passengers, striving to mitigate the impact on their vacation experience. To further ease the convenience, uh, Royal Caribbean offered to cover trip change fees and additional reimbursements for domestic and international travelers, including expenses related to hotels and transportation. In other news, get ready for a truly unique cruising experience that's all about embracing freedom the nudist way. In 2025, Bare Necessities and Travel is inviting adventurous souls to join them on the big nude boat for a 10-day journey to the Caribbean departing from Florida. On board the Norwegian Pearl from February 3rd to the 14th, passengers will shed their inhibitions as they visit exotic destinations like the Bahamas, Puerto Rico, St. Martin, and St. Lucia. While clothing will be optional for most of the crews, there will still be a few rules in place to ensure everyone feels comfortable and respected. Passengers are required to follow proper nudist etiquette, which includes wearing clothes inside dining areas and using towels when sitting bare-bottomed or wearing a thong in certain areas like the pool deck and buffet. Respecting privacy is paramount, with strict rules against taking photos or videos of fellow passengers without their consent. Designated no-photo zones will be marked throughout the ship to maintain everyone's comfort and privacy. Inappropriate behavior such as fondling or inappropriate touching is strictly prohibited, as is being nude in view of other ships in port. Additionally, lingerie and fetish wear are not permitted on board. The rules also stipulate when nudity is allowed based on the ship's location, passengers can be nude while the ship is at sea or anchored in a port unless otherwise announced. However, everyone must be dressed while the ship is docked in port until an announcement is made allowing nudity again. Fair Necessities and Travel emphasizes that anyone who fails to comply with these rules and guidelines will be asked to leave the cruise. The Big Nude Boat promises a liberating and unforgettable experience where passengers can leave their worries and inhibitions behind as they soak up the sun and sea in the most natural way possible. In other Norwegian cruise news, get ready Raiders fans, something special is coming your way. The Raiders have just announced an unforgettable adventure for the loyal members of the Raider Nation. The 
first ever Raiders fan cruise set to sail in March 2025 aboard the luxurious Norwegian Bliss from the Port of Los Angeles. This football-themed voyage promises an interactive journey like no other, featuring Raiders alumni and a lineup of exciting events and activities. It's a chance for diehard fans to connect with their favorite players who proudly wore the silver and black while enjoying all the perks of a world-class cruise ship. Teaming up with Seaside Events, the Raiders are making this dream cruise a reality from March 23rd through the 30th, 2025. Fans and alumni will embark on a seven-night adventure to stunning destinations in the Mexican Riviera, like Cabo San Lucas, Ensenada, Mazatlan, and Puerto Vallarta. Throughout the cruise, there will be plenty of Raiders-themed experiences for fans and alumni alike, both on board and at the ports of call. From welcome aboard and farewell parties to meet and greets, group dinners, beach parties, and even special presentations featuring down memory lane highlights, there's something for everyone. Excitement is building as the alumni roster for this inaugural Raiders Fan Cruise will be revealed soon on the Raiders Fan Cruise website. Fans are encouraged to visit RaidersFanCruise.com to learn more about the cruise, including all the fun activities planned and details about the Norwegian Bliss. And finally, if you step aboard a Viking cruise ship, you'll immediately notice something different. There are no bustling casinos, no noisy kids running around, and it's because Viking isn't your typical cruise operator. It's catering to a different crowd. In its quest to capture the hearts of high-income baby boomers, Viking focuses on delivering a more refined experience. Their ships are smaller and more upscale, designed to appeal to the discerning traveler who craves adventure and intellectual stimulation. In fact, they proudly declare themselves as cruises for the, quote, thinking person, close quote. As Viking made its debut on the New York Stock Exchange, it aimed for a valuation of $10.4 billion, positioning itself as the third largest cruise operator in the market, trailing behind industry giants like Royal Caribbean and Carnival. The stock opened at $26.15 per share, and that is a promising start that saw an 8% gain by the end of the first trading day. The enthusiasm for Viking's IPO was evident as existing shareholders seized the opportunity to sell an additional 9 million shares. Driven by strong demand from mutual fund investors, this move underscored the confidence in Viking's potential for growth and success. Despite reporting a net loss in 2023, Viking's impressive revenue per passenger of $7,251 has investors intrigued. This premium price point allows the company to generate higher profits from each customer, setting it apart from its competitors in the industry. Investors are eager to learn more about Viking's expansion plans, especially after Norwegian Cruise Line's recent announcement of ordering eight new ships. As Viking continues to chart its course in the cruise industry, its unique approach and commitment to excellence are sure to attract attention and admiration from both investors and travelers alike. That does it for this edition of Cruise Updates today. I'm Wade Heath. Make sure you are subscribed so you never miss an edition of the Cruise News Rundown the way we bring it to you. And if you're interested in my most recent cruise to the Mexican Riviera, I invite you to check out my Discovery Princess Cruise to Mexico on the right. We'll see you next time here on Cruise Updates Today.